falling down, cool love. ever, never going back, touch book. I will know it from my sin no more. Don't come out there, but I'm not gonna take I got ghosts, give my soul, see for back burn. I got ghosts, give my soul, see a suspect. Time away from me, you shot my shadow. Some of let us set my tongue on this affix. I can write body notes, goes I can't flow, leave fast for the Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video. I'm gonna be talking about this disturbing case. Um you guys might not want to hear the other part, but I'm gonna go straight full on detail about the situation. Of what's to come and what has been going on so you'll find out there's a 16 17 year old girl named Zion Foster it sounds like Zion Williamson from the NBA or Zion Williams I forgot his last name but you catch my drift but overall I'm gonna be co covering this documentary uh, it, it speaks on a very important disturbing case with a missing 16 17 year old girl um, I actually, uh, my opinion, 333 brought this to my attention. So apparently, Zion Foster, um, she had issues with her mother because of the house rules that she was upholding, and Zion decided to leave and was uh, willing to live with her grandmother. She found out her grandmother's rules did not work out and she decided to run away again so now it, it has become very concerning for both the parents the, the mother and the grandmother um but you're later I'm, I'm just gonna get straight to the details i want to just cover the important part um because there's still a lot of details to have to uh be able to address you guys so here is actually important text uh, she did say that she was being open about it. I think she came from work. She let her her, her mother, her grandmother know that she's gonna be seeing her favorite cousin. Does not does that not sound like weird to you guys? Her favorite cousin, and I'm sure you know what I mean. I don't know if that's her with her cousin. But what's funny enough is that the cousin already has somebody besides his besides her besides Zion and we're talking about Jalen right now but there is definitely very suspicious favor I'm already fully aware of what's happening you guys you guys will be aware of it of right now as you know I'm gonna tell you we are she it's more than she's just missing she was actually murdered by Jalen um, and for obvious reasons he definitely was trying to be slick by hiding those photos, I mean hiding video footage that took place with like security and stuff, and I'm not what I mean like I mean talking about the security footage involving Jalen and Zion, what was going on? From what I understand, you guys, the video I won't be able to show it because it is classified. I can't even find it. Of course, uh, the police are under are investigating it, and. It did take some time to figure out what was going on and what led to uh, Zion missing but we already know that for a fact but in the beginning I can understand it'd be it'd be hard to be able to figure that out as to what may have led to her disappearance and here's you're gonna see the video footage but he tried to play it off like I will explain that afterwards, but here they're they're gonna be able to like examine the house. This is Jalen's property. Uh, as you can see, this might be possibly his girlfriend, or a neighbor, or a close uh, like uh, resident. 
so they do question him but he gives he gives again if you were to watch the video i guess he gives it out this ominous vibe where he's like um his family's like bugging him and that his cousin is basically a getaway she's always running away basically deflecting so that he can so that he can get the police off his tail but sure you could claim that you don't have the video footage but there's a chance that um the video footage itself has probably been edited has been deleted to make sure that they that the the perpetrator the suspect can cover the tracks and it, it's it's no it's, it's it shouldn't become as a surprise or a shock because any nowadays uh, of course people do not want to take the heat they don't want to go to jail which of course we, we we all understand that that it can cause it can not only ruin uh, like our own lives but at the same time they did themselves i wouldn't say i would do that but to even commit that type of act and decide to murder someone because of your uh, like dark secrets and you and then you were worried about what would be revealed of course he could well, he would not only not only would he but he will definitely go to jail for this I think had they discovered the text messages and from listening with uh, other people who are close to Jalen they are able to get down to the bottom of the situation and figure out more and there's a lot of details that have been missed out let me try to find one find one where he's being interrogated so i don't take up too much time in this video um so here's being interrogated um he tries to disclose the fact that he didn't murder his cousin and that um like it was a mistake he he basically shared some weed with her she was unconscious then uh later find out she wasn't breathing and for 10 minutes he was complete he was in complete, complete utter shock he was nervous he had no like no way how to like uh resolve the issue he was trying to figure out what he could do to like save her to get himself out of trouble and he how he explained it was that like after 10 minutes he literally dumped her body in a dumpster that's the one that's one thing that is very uh like disrespectful and just actually makes him look even a bigger scumbag if you think about it it actually makes him seem like a, a complete utter piece of shit someone who does not value life if he really was concerned about his younger cousin, he should take an opportunity to immediately take her straight to the hospital. Even if she wasn't breathing, the people wouldn't assume whether you killed her or not. But like at the same time, even if if you didn't kill her and she and, she, and her heart and her heart stopped, it would be that best opportunity to call nine one. And normally, yes, I do not I always advocate having the police around. But when it's something as serious that he he, he could have made it a lot better for himself. And had the the police involved as well as call an ambulance to make sure that she's alive they, even if there may not have been a chance chances are he would have the chances are he, he would have been doing the right thing for everybody and making sure that he's showing consideration for his own cousin and that's the crazy part like the the way he treats his, his own cousin's life he ha it's not only does he not have no regard for his family, he has no regard for anybody. So obviously there would there was a, a the, the, there was so many ways he could have like handled the situation better. Even if uh, it would have been a very very it would have been very scary, and you're in shock, you're in disbelief, um, you're 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 not you're you're going through like this very disturbing like situation um where you're not too sure of yourself and how you'll be able to like sleep at night and you can live with this like you can live with yourself seeing your own family member die that 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 would be something to like that i would be able to like sympathize with if he couldn't if someone couldn't live seeing their own family members die in their hands in front of them 
I would have sympathy, but it's clear that he was not like willing to like care for his cousin. He did not value love because why? Because he was in on being inappropriate with her. So the thing is though, he does show the there there they are checking to find out the uh, like the the location where her body's dumped, so they can be able to like find her corpse, whether it could whether to be able to like make sure that her family isn't grieving anymore. And I'm not saying that's the cops. Like I'm not saying that's like the the cops choice but it's their job to do so but it's just it's just crazy how you have family members these days really who don't really like care for one another like what does this world have come to you guys like and I wanted to bring up like what my, my opinion 333 said he said that she was possibly in on it even if she was but like and I'm not going in on him but you have to think about it like it seemed like the more I think about it it's as if like Jalen has been grooming, grooming Zion for years and even she should have she should have realized that the signs that like she shouldn't even try to follow through with it like and then that whether he had some sort of power or some persuasion that he was going to in return he was going to do her favors he was going to find her a place to live if she was by herself there's so many like um, factors that made him like convince her to be into that relationship because I don't think it started. Who knows? It probably not start. It probably hadn't started when she was 17. It probably started when she was very young. So at the same time, I do have sympathy, but at the same time, at 17, you feel like she she should know better, not to go through with it, and not even try to be doing that type of behavior with their own family it is just complete immoral and it Im, complete immoral and it's taboo as well it is forbidden for a reason you guys but I can tell he has no remorse like seriously screw this dude and there are more is to come though because in the beginning it seemed like he didn't really get justice because he, I'm pretty I will be showing the court case, but this guy is just, just like just someone who does not belong on this earth. But like we can blame the we can blame the younger cousin too, because of um, how she treated her family members. And then going back to what I said in my previous videos, like these kids do not think about like how their parents like literally put a roof over their head. Um, how they raise them, changing them, uh, cleaning them, feeding them. These kids don't just outright never ever really never seem to ever, ever realize that they never even bring up those like good old times that their parents have made them feel and have did, done whatever they can to make sure that they can make the live today to be able to see today so it's I just, I just don't understand the mentality with these kids it's like these parents provide for them they do they help they'll help they do whatever they can for these kids to be able to live their life in order to see the light of day so they can be able to get an education be able to move have free will but in return it's like these kids all of a sudden they all they, they only want to look at the like the like they only want to look at the the bad the bad like the bad times they have with their family members or the like the arguments um the back and forth and the like insults the criticism and the hatred and I don't want to bring up hatred but the like disrespect that has come across their minds that's the only thing they think about there but they never think about the good 
that goes on in the family. And they should they should always try to remember the good. I think that's, it's more important to remember the good rather than the bad. Because us, nowadays it just seems like they care about they think about only the disrespect that their parents give them rather than how much they've done for them. It just goes to show how grateful these kids are, you guys. And I hate to admit it, but it, I hate to admit it, but it is true. But I do want to move to the important part. Because more is to come. Here they figure out try this years where they're gonna they discover where possibly uh Zion Foster's body has been put in place. Uh so clearly Jalen was very cautious. He's doing whatever he can to hide the body as much as possible so there isn't any trace. But I feel like again the mistake was that Jalen no, I don't mean Jalen going back to Zion Foster. She made attempts to leave her family, showed no appreciation, and was very ignorant to not realize how much her parents worry. Her like the people who raised her. And only again, only looking at the bad, but she needs to be able to look at the good in order to be able to like share her like to be able to share her thoughts with the family be able to spend time with the family to be able to cooperate with your family but looking at this the, you could tell Jalen um, this is again this is like his first arrest uh, and this is involving what he did with uh, Zion's body but he's again he's giving out the fake tears you could tell with the crocodile ears saying that he he wish he could do whatever he can to bring her back that he made a mistake but the simple decision he could have made was why didn't he find uh why did he call 911 why didn't he get a uh, ambulance to come be able to like take take her off his like take her off like like her the couch his house whatever um to take the burden off of him to make sure that like he would be in the clear as well as trying to help her survive and be able to be alive today but it's clear uh, it's an it's unfortunate but it will never come but going back and looking all this as I've been going through this video and of course it's been very skeptical like he only got like well like two or three years when he now in actually should have been given life he should have been seeing a lot more time and uh, this is where I'm with the family because it is a joke that's from what I heard is that he only got two two or three years in prison only two I think it's only two years two three years I'm not too sure though but it depends on and again it, it depends whether uh, like he got a uh, bailed because of good behavior or this is the, again here he's gonna be arrested second for something else but then they end actually end up finding more charges on this dude eventually they will end up finding more charges so I think the mother here is like is in disbelief that a, a killer which is clearly confirmed she she definitely had a feeling and I definitely give the again I give them the the mother of Zan mad props for noticing that 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 the, the, the this, this was an actual justice with the time the time that uh, Jalen got but again I, and especially getting caught up with uh, another crime they'll be able to find more evidence on him uh, relating to the Zan uh, situation so you'll be surprised to find out you guys he's gonna be getting several he's gonna be getting decades in prison he's gonna get being given a lifelong sentence there and I'm not the one to decide what could happen and I wish I could know for a fact but I'm again I'm not I'm not part of the court whatever or the justice system but here this is like his new look but he definitely deserves life for this and now the, the, the family the community 
they don't have to grieve anymore so they're pleased to find out not only for like uh, the, the crimes regarding Zion as well as like his past crimes outside of Zion and regarding the situation is that this will be enough to put him behind bars for essentially the rest, and the rest of his life and that he won't be able to see the light of day and you have people here out there speaking up for Zion and defending her uh, basically defending her like her existence but at the same time it's like I when I was going back to what my opinions through three said um I feel like a lot of it had to do with Zahn making the mistake of like like disapproving her parents her mother her grandmother uh separating from them not 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 willing to like be able to appreciate what her family like what her what her mother or grandmother have brought her look for letting them live to, in like the shelter that they gave her and it's like it seems like it doesn't really it didn't like as if it didn't really matter and that and that's what created this ugly situation she ignored their like their their their, their call she refused to cooperate she did not want to be able to like res like respect the rules of their household and i hate to say it, but my, one thing my opinion to three is right about is that that's what led up to her death because she didn't really get along with them with their parents like her mother or grandmother and went through the trouble and making it made a huge mistake trusting in her favorite cousin and honestly i could say it, it was it was definitely not it was definitely not worth it for her because she ended up losing her life in the process and whether she wants to ta take back everything uh how she treated her mother or grandmother um the way she was judgmental about this and the decisions that she made um, I'm pretty sure yes she probably regrets it now uh, before her passing but this was definitely a, a like what led to like a big massive like like situation one that is immediately like insufferable one that is just outright like dangerous and scary for a seven year 17 year old to like follow through with and just not be able to like accept it like her family her mother her grandmother as for those who actually had the utmost care for her but had she ever had she really like thought about it had she realized how much like how much like her mother her grandmother their value her life and now especially now we're looking at right now they're trying to do whatever they can to be able to bring her justice Zion probably feels really stupid at this point and this is not me disrespecting the dead but if she was alive and then if she was to find out that she has family members that, that care for her mother especially those who are close who were trying to do it the best they can to like be able to make sure that like that she doesn't like die in vain or she doesn't suffer she she really if she really needs to uh, show like 
remorse. She really needs to like apologize and think of all that she's done and try to do whatever she can to make amends with her mother and her grandmother. But the people were able to say their piece at the end of the day, you guys. And that's what I was actually looking into. Um, all the people who cared uh, in Zion and were doing whatever they can to have faith in the justice system. And after the second arrest of Jalen, they managed to be able to like prevail in which they were hoping for and being able to speak out on this uh, travesty but them fighting and pushing forward and pleading for uh, Zion safety has actually led to like great results and again I do not condone what she did of making those um, mistakes for being foolish to leave her family like that those who are who are her providers and that who, who knew um, like who actually had more knowledge of the of the real world and, and that it's not very it's not a safe place to be on the run by yourself especially when you're young but they managed to get the law to throw the book at Jalen, which he deserves. Because it's been proven, like, he had it under, like, I'm trying to remember, like, I think it was, like, uh, SoundCloud or something, or uh, the hidden text messages, the hidden messages that he had hidden was enough to wrap this case up and finally end the devastation that the family had to endure the people who are wanting justice for Zion and Jalen is getting what he deserves because the messages that were leaked was proven that he was an advocate of incest and that if Zion was to leave and he if he was to uh, let it out if she was to let out the rumor out then this would pretty much destroy whatever he's living for, whatever life he's living for and it's weird because he already has a girlfriend besides his cousin why would you want your cousin when you have when you're already in a relationship with, with somebody else that isn't your family member and of course you should never advocate that never would you ever want to do your family like that but this guy never really put any thought like all oh, because he couldn't control his urges which he's which is clear he's someone that is like out of control so he should not be crying at all so he re again he brought it to himself within the day thought he was slick and this is speaking from her father as I'm re like rephrasing what he said you're not slick you're not smart I appreciate the fact that karma was able to do his job and hopefully it's able to do it again and bring people like this in their place uh, whether they decide to change or not, but to make sure they have mad regrets to the point that we don't, people, innocent people don't have to endure this. Uh, we don't have to hear about it. We can be able to live our life in peace, but it's good to know that the police were able to take their job serious and that Jalen would not be able to like torment anybody's life again, as well as put Zion through hell since he's the one that's having to pay for the consequences but overall I feel like I said enough for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video be sure to check for more upcoming content in the future be sure to check your notifications comment like subscribe thank you